Are you headed to the Grand Canyon South Rim and you're not sure what to expect? Well, in this video, we're gonna share with you our one day experience of visiting the Grand Canyon over spring break. We'll visit the village as well as ride the red bus route out to find the best views. I'm also gonna share with you 11 tips to make your day perfect. Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Explorer. And if you are new to this channel, we bring you videos on travel, exploring and discovery. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Today, we're gonna to be sharing with you our experience of our one day trip to the Grand Canyon. We went to the South Rim and the Grand Canyon Village. It was a great experience. We're gonna show you what that was like today as well as we've got some tips for you to help save you some time. We did a road trip from near Vancouver, Canada, all the way to Phoenix and back again. And this is one of our stops on that trip. All right, so our morning started out in Kingman, Arizona, where we stayed along Route 66, and we decided to take the two hour and 45 minute drive to the south rim of the Grand Canyon. We wanted to arrive at the park before 9 a.m. when we hear it gets really busy. We started out early on Interstate 40 and then took exit 165 and drove on Highway 64 all the way up to Tusayan at the edge of the Grand Canyon National Park. So our first tip to saving you some time if you're headed to the Grand Canyon during the busy months is to park outside of the park in Tusayan and take the free shuttle buses in. So we parked at the IMAX Theater in Tusayan and Tusayan features four bus stops allowing you to take the courtesy shuttle all the way into the park, bypassing all the lineups. It was a great choice. These buses run from March 1st to November 30th. They saved us a ton of time bypassing the park ticket booths, which had huge lines. I'll put a link in the description below to this page on the Grand Canyon website, where you can find the bus stops, the times, and where you can pick up your tickets. This is a great option. We bought our tickets at the IMAX Theater and jumped right on the bus to the Grand Canyon Visitor Center. So tickets to get into the Grand Canyon National Park are $35 for a private vehicle, and this included all the bus rides. I'll put a link below in the description so you can check out all the specifics if you're headed there. So tip number two, and this one applies to you if you're parking into Scion, is to use the restrooms into Scion. So we use them in the IMAX theater. There weren't any lines at all. When we got over to the visitor center, they were packed. It was about a half hour lineup to use the restrooms over there. So uh, make sure you use the restrooms before you jump on that shuttle bus. All right, so the third tip I wanna give you is to make sure you use the bus system within the park. These are included with your entrance into the park, so they're free of charge, and they're gonna save you a ton of time if you're trying to get to the best views and vistas in the shortest amount of time. Now, of course, if you're here to do biking or hiking, you might not wanna use them, but if you're trying to get to those best views in the shortest amount of time, I highly recommend taking them. There's four bus routes. The first one we already rode on, that's the purple bus. That's gonna take you from Tucson into the park to the visitor center from the IMAX area. So that's the first bus. The second bus is the village route bus. It's the blue bus. That's gonna take you to the general store, campgrounds, hotels, and restaurants, as well as over to the red bus. And the third bus is the Kaibab Rim orange bus or the orange route. And this is gonna take you to five vistas. If you have the least amount of time, this one only takes about two hours to do. And then of course, the fourth one, which is the red route, the hermit's rest route. This one, the bus alone takes about 80 minutes round trip and there's 10 stops, including the village. So here we are in the visitor center area where you'll find bike rentals, a cafe, and of course restrooms that are extremely busy. We're gonna go ahead and jump on the blue bus or the village bus. That's gonna take us all the way over to the Bright Angel Trailhead area, which is right next to where we can jump on the red route or the hermit's rest bus and this is where you're gonna find the best views. So we just hopped off the Blue Line Village Bus and we're right near the Bright Angel Trail. And we're gonna take the Red Line Bus over to the Trail View Overlook, which has some great views. I'll put a link to this page so that you can see what all the stops are along the way in the description below. And this leads us into tip number four. So check out these amazing views on the first stop of the Red Bus Line, which is the Trail View Overlook. Now, one thing I do wanna say, and this is tip number four, is come prepared. It can be cold here, it can be hot here. In fact, you can see snow on the hillside and it's spring break. So I highly recommend bringing a coat or a jacket and a backpack, extra clothes, and also bring good footwear because it can be slippery here. Um, make sure you have good grip. 
As well, you might want to bring some snacks, some water, and different snacks because the next stop for food is all the way down at Hermit's Rest. So if you're going to get hungry, make sure you have some food packed. So tip number five is that it can get really, really busy here and the lineups can be quite large to get on the buses. And it's not like this at every stop, but definitely at the earlier ones, it's quite busy. So if you do want to catch a specific bus, I'd recommend getting up to the bus stop a couple minutes before it arrives. Stop number two on the red bus line is Maricopa Point. This was one of my favorite stops and the mountains just go sheer straight down all the way to the Colorado River. Absolutely phenomenal. This is so amazing. The camera just doesn't do it justice. Over in that area is where we came from, the trail view overlook. And it's just so amazing here. If you've never been to the Grand Canyon before, you have to come check this out. So tip number six is bus etiquette. And they were quite strict about this and rightfully so because it was quite busy there. So a couple of things you should know is that when you enter the bus, make sure you go through the front doors. And when you exit, go through the rear doors. This keeps everything moving so that they can get onto the next stop very quickly. They also don't want you eating or drinking while you're on the bus. So keep your food and beverages in your bag. Now the third thing is if you see markers or lines that you need to stand behind them, make sure you do that because they did get angry at a few people for stepping over those lines and it's purely for safety reasons. So our next three stops were Powell Point, Hoppy Point, and Mojave Point, which are great stops. They didn't have quite as many stairs and had some great walkways like this out to see the views. And they were just majestic again. And check out these sheer cliffs, straight vertical cliffs. You wouldn't want to fall down there. Absolutely phenomenal. and your classic Grand Canyon views. So tip number seven is to bring sunscreen, even if it's not summer. We were here on spring break and it was a cool day and we still managed to get mild burns on our faces. So make sure you grab some sunscreen to protect yourself from those burns. Our next three stops are the Abyss, Monument Creek Vista and Pima Point. Now, a couple things I do want to mention, if you did want to go on a hike or walk that's not too strenuous, you could also walk between some of these bus stops. So that's a great option for you. The other thing I do want to mention, if you do want to go back to the village, the buses back to the village only go in the opposite direction from Powell Point, Mojave Point, Pima Point, and Hermit's Rest. So tip number eight is to bring a watch or a timer so you know when the next bus is coming. The buses typically come every 15 to 30 minutes depending on the time of day and they did seem to stay on schedule. So if you happen to miss two or three buses by two or three minutes, that could easily add an hour to your journey and that might be time you want to spend in the village. So definitely set a timer so you know when the next bus is about to arrive. Our last and final stop on the red bus line is Hermit's Rest. You'll find some Really cool rock sculptures here. Some paths that are a little bit shorter that lead you to the Hermit Trail if you did want to hike down into the canyon. They've got some great views from up here. As well, of course, they've got the gift shop or souvenir shop up here. Check out these cool rock arches. There's a fireplace in here. Absolutely gorgeous. People are sitting here relaxing, picking up some souvenirs, some shirts, different things to bring home to friends and family. While you're here, you can grab a snack as well, which is really convenient. And of course, use the restrooms, which they had plenty of here at Hermit's Rest. So tip number nine when you're visiting the Grand Canyon is to actually do the red bus line. It said that the best views of the Grand Canyon are along the red bus line. If you don't have time to do the whole thing, go out to Powell Point and back a shorter portion of it and check out these majestic views. All right, so we are done at Hermit's Rest and we're taking the bus all the way back to the village and it feels nice to relax on the bus for a little while. And we made it back here. This is the area in the village where you'll grab that red bus out to Hermit's Rest. And that leads us right into our next tip. So tip number 10 is to reserve some time to spend walking around the village. It's really cool there. Grab an ice cream cone, go check out the restaurants. There's some amazing views, amazing buildings that are made out of stone. You're gonna wanna explore this area because it is really cool. Here's one of the cool rock buildings that you'll see and there's so many of them. Here's the Bright Angel Trail. This is probably the most popular trail down into the canyon. Also grab an ice cream cone, like I said, or grab some lunch at one of the cafes or restaurants. 
So my final tip for you, and this is tip number 11, and it might sound really obvious, but it is to be careful. We saw all sorts of people standing at the edge of rocks, leaning over, trying to get the perfect selfie, jumping up in the air, and they were not being very safe. Several people do die every year at the Grand Canyon, and you just wanna make sure you're being safe. Wear proper shoes. If there is guardrails, stay behind them, and we want you to have an amazing day like we did when you visit the Grand Canyon. So I hope you enjoyed joining us on our one day trip to the Grand Canyon and I hope you found our tips useful. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You'll find all those links below in the description. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching today and I hope you have a great trip to the Grand Canyon. Take care.